You know, I was watching Bleach a second ago. I'm on episode 364, just two before the end of the anime, and then I'm going to read the manga tonight to actually finish up and realize what actually happened, because I went through that over a period of about two years and lost a lot of the details inside the arc that is a Thousand Year Blood War. Look forward to that. However, today, the episode is based on the Fullbringers. We have the chance to realize that truly, invaders must die. That, that, that is a good ass fucking line. I don't care what you want to say. That is one of the best lines I've ever had. Welcome to Bleach Death Awakening. And welcome to the episode where I unlock Yukio, one of my favorite Fullbring characters. There's not many, obviously. I'm, 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 I'm saying that he's my, he's one of my favorite when I like Ruruka and him, and Tsukishima, I guess. Tsukishima's kind of weird, um, but I, I like them a lot. So I'm looking forward to actually playing as them. Yukio seems cool, and let's go ahead and see his attacks. I actually haven't seen them yet. I've only faced them once and hated it. So let's try it. The first one is going to be his first attack, of which is just his weird Kuma. Kuma and then swipe and then downwards. Not nothing too special, but it is quite cool. I like the the like effects that it has. Additionally, this is the same stuff that he used to try and stab at Ikaku in the la in one of the latest episodes I watched. Um, and then Toshiro swipes it away with his sword, but it's it's a thing that happens. And this, I don't remember that happening ever, but I think it's fine because I'll still take it. I do like the animation for it, actually, because it, it does the entire screen and then it changes into guns and bombs back and forth. I noticed that his model here on the left side it appears to not have his um, gear with like the uh, satellite and the ear things, but on the actual model itself. This one doesn't have it, but the third one seems to have his arm beeps and his antenna that appear when he goes and does things. Strange. I actually wonder if he has a form change that has him permanently have the entire getup. Curious, but I can't really tell right now. So we're going to go ahead and go. I want to go ahead and do a level of memory path with him and see if that'll work. Honestly, it's probably not going to work out too well because I don't quite have the power to do most things, but we'll try it. Um, we're at 75,000, so it's, it's a little bit higher than the enemies, and we're going to see what he can do in a PvE level. I'm happy. I am very happy because I really like his animations and his attacks. Him and Ruruka are my favorite Fullbringers. Easily, easily, easily. And they're just so cool. They're all also assholes, by the way. They're, they're all complete and utter fucking assholes. And I love it. It's, it's just a great time. Because, like, oh, they're irredeemable. They actually, they, they literally went to Ichigo to be able to steal his powers, and that's it. There, there, there's literally nothing... There's nothing good about them. There's there's no positive. They were cool for a while when they didn't know that they wanted to steal, but they're still... As a person, they're actually just horrible, and I love it. His attacks seem to really combo well into each other. His normal attacks don't really seem that great. Um, he summons the sword around him, which is not the best in the world, but it's fine. Did... Did he just summon... Santin Keishun. No, that's um that's my weapon doing that, isn't it? My Zanpakuto behind me. Oh shit. I thought that I thought that Orihime's brother was summoning Santin Keishun and I was like, whoo, that's weird. Am I dying here? Am I about to lose? No, let me out, let me out. I can't move. I actually can't move. Oh my god. Yukio, no. You deserve so much better, dude. Holy shit. He got fucked super hard. Here, I'm gonna do something real quick. So just give me one second. There we go. We have a little bit of a brighter time now because I may or may not have forgotten to turn that whole thing up. It's okay. We're, we're, we're all good. Um, Yukio appeared to not be good enough to be able to beat them. Let's try to fight Shushika Ichigo with him and see how that works. I'm not the most confident in capabilities, I'm gonna be honest, but we're going to see here what's up. Um, we'll try this and see if we can actually get anything done. Uh, Yukio, 
you're, you're cool, but clearly at rank three, most characters aren't going to be the best in the game. <laughs> um, this kind of makes sense, you know? It just, it just, it tends three, to make two, a bit of sense. Well, however, hey, invaders must die. There's no way they're not going to die. So you are invading my space and I need to cut you down. I'm going to go ahead and back off and pop my hand into my hollow and then stab you. I actually did nothing. Holy shit. What? Okay, sure. Oh, no, I'm stuck in a corner. Nope, nope, nope. Get out. All right. Invaders have to die. Come on. Take big damage. Trushika Ichigo does heal, so it does seem like a bit of a pain in the ass to actually get him down. Um, this may not be the best idea. I probably should have fought Grimjow instead, but it's okay. I'll I'll deal, honestly. Yukio seems to get his uh, SP back pretty easily, so he tends to have quite a bit of potential for combos. Um, his normal attacks don't link at all into his, his others, though, so it does seem like it's a bit of a strange way to try to... Get together plus if they're behind you at all the first two hits of his normal will, will hit them but the rest of them won't hit them at all also if they're directly on you or outside of your area of effects on your third it won't actually hit properly interesting very very interesting so i guess the ideal way to take care of him is to kind of just get either on him or a slight or like super away from him there's, like, no golden area for that either. I don't see, like, a golden area where I can just have them so they can hit, get hit by all the attacks on my third. Ow, ow. Okay, I'm gonna pop my fireworks now. Be able to get some good shit done. Prepare to take some big damage. And we're gonna realize that invaders must die. And this is gonna hurt. We have to be care- Don't heal. Don't heal. Don't heal too far. You fuck. I'm stuck on the ground, and time's up. Well, uh, that's about how I expected that to work out. <sighs> I, I should probably get his keto leveled up, honestly, because keto is very important. But it's, it's fine for now, I think. Uh, in general, he just seems like he's going to be a very good character to work with later, um, once he levels up a little bit more, because obviously Yukio... I do intend to get him a lot higher at some point. Not anytime soon, because obviously I would need to spend um, Megatamas in the Urahara store to be able to get his weapons, and I just don't have the capability to be able to spend that much right now. But we will get there eventually. Also, so those those chests I was going to save up for Giriko, turns out they swapped to Kugo Ginjo today. And I'm I'm down, honestly. So tomorrow we get to open up 10 of the Kugo Genjo um, weapons and see if we can get anything. We're already at 45 of his, of his uh, pieces. So we'll actually be able to get potentially another full bring. Also, I want to go ahead and open these. Um, just to be able to get some more shit done. They did get these inside the mail uh, from the Summit Battle thing. So that actually is quite nice. A few more of um, all the white isn't too bad. Because I actually will take that. I want... Uryu the most out of all of these, but I, I'm not getting any of him inside the other ones, so it's fine for now. Um, seven of Bankai Yamamoto is actually a pretty good thing. And, okay, that's alright. So, we'll be good to go for now. And then we'll be back, um, actually, I should probably just keep on going, right? I do have a couple of things I want to get done, so maybe I should just do that. Also, I want to go ahead and get a scout. So, I want to do a scout. Um, well, I should save it for tomorrow, shouldn't I? Because it's 24 hours from, or 20 hours from now, so I should probably just wait. Yeah, I'll do that. For now, I think we'll just do a single, um, a couple of normal levels here, uh, as anyone but Yukio, honestly. We're just going to go ahead and play as an actual character. I think this sounds fine, honestly. With, uh, Byakuya and with... Um, Dawn Guy, we should be able to beat Hushwalt pretty easily, and Trushika Ichigo is just the one I like to play as the most. Because I, personally, am extremely biased towards him, because I love him so goddamn much. So let's go ahead and get this done. I'm getting text messages right now out the wazoo, but we'll be good for now. Alright, get fucked, kid. 
And we'll go ahead and... Oh, he got knocked away. I have to actually hit him with my normals the most. That's going to be our goal. Um, it stacks bleed whenever you do that, so I just got to try and prioritize that. And then when he drops out of it, I got to use this to be able to knock him up. Didn't actually hit him to knock him up. Damn it. I'll, I'll pop the uh, the first for now. Be able to get some healing done. And just in case he did hit me at all. And we'll slash him up. Okay, that last attack inside the combo does so much damage, dude. I, I'm, I'm down. I love it. <sighs> yeah, I should probably just get the other uh, boss fights done myself. Honestly, there's so many. Um, but I will say that today's episode is done for now. I will see you guys tomorrow when we do some more. Um, tomorrow's episode is probably going to be based upon... Hmm. I still need to get the other full brings, so that's going to be a thing. I'm thinking of either making the episode about... Uh, a complete soul trial run. Because, oh, actually, I should probably just, like, get that done today, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll probably do that. Maybe Soul Trial tomorrow, maybe Purgatories. We'll, we'll see. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.